Hello! In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Pivot program on your TI-84 calculator. First, we need to ensure the program is installed. Press the Program button near the center of your keypad. If you do not see a program called Pivot on this screen, you will need to visit the Math Testing Center or the Math ORC to fix this. Now that we're prepped, we have to have a simplex tableau to use. This is our example tableau. It's easiest to locate the pivot location while it's written on paper, so always begin a problem by copying down the entire matrix from your book. It may also be helpful to immediately note the size of our matrix. Because we have three rows and six columns, the size of this matrix is three by six. We will not discuss how to locate the pivot in this video. Once you do have it, circle it and write down its column and its row. This pivot is in column two, row two. Now we have to tell the calculator what our matrix is. Quit out of the program menu using second quit and then hit second matrix to open the matrix menu. The first thing you'll see is a list of letters. These letters are the names of all the matrices your calculator can remember at once. For the pivot program, we will always use only the name A. Go to the edit with the arrow keys and press enter while A is highlighted. If your screen doesn't look exactly like this, don't panic. That just means you have a different matrix in your calculator. Type the size in these first two blanks. Ours is three by six, so these two numbers will do fine. Fill in all the numbers from your paper by going left to right, top to bottom. So hit two and then enter, three, enter, and so forth. It'll take me a moment to copy all of this, so I'm going to speed up the footage. When you're done, press second and quit. The calculator will remember your matrix as just the letter A, and the pivot program knows to work on that particular matrix. So go back to your program menu, find pivot, press enter, and press enter one more time. This launches the program, and when you hit enter again, you will see the matrix that you just entered. We can scroll left and right using the arrow keys to get a whole view of the matrix and confirm that it's the same thing as what we've written on our paper. Once we've done that, Hit enter and it will ask you PC. This stands for pivot column and we're just going to put in the two numbers we found, column two and row two. The program will pivot our matrix for us and show us a result, which is always another simplex tableau. You can still go left or right looking at it and as you do, you wanna copy this onto your paper and then set your calculator aside. Just like before, it's going to take me a moment to copy things down, so I'll speed that footage up. The bottom row, called the indicator row, has a negative number in it. This tells us that our matrix is not optimized and our problem is not finished. We have to pivot again starting from this matrix. Our second pivot location is this element here in the top left. Its column is 1 and its row is 1, which we will write down. Once you know what R and C stand for, it might save you some time just to write those two letters. Pick up your calculator again, press enter, and it will show you the main pivot screen. Hit enter to continue, confirm that this is the same matrix which we have written down. Hit enter again, and type in your new pivot. The calculator, again, does all the hard work for us, and we have the job of copying down the entire matrix. So now that we've copied our matrix down, we can very clearly see that the indicator row does not have any negative numbers. When you cannot find any negative numbers in our indicator row, the matrix is optimized and we are done with the pivot program. Hit enter on your calculator and then hit four to leave the pivot program. We don't need the calculator anymore, so I'm just going to turn it off. Now, on to reading our matrix. The variables whose columns have a one and nothing else are called basic. So this first column, which corresponds to x1, and the second column, which corresponds to x2, and this last column, which corresponds to Z, are all called basic. We can read any basic value by finding the one and moving all the way to the right and reading its corresponding entry in the last column. X1 is one, X2 is six, and Z is 650. All the columns that are not basic, such as S1 and S2, we report as zero. I'll repeat that, if a column is messy, its variable has a value of zero. Our simplex tableau is optimized, our variables are found, and we can report the maximum value of the objective function, which is always z. 
at this point, our problem is finished, so we can box up our answers and say good day. Thank you very much for your time.